some of these criminals off the street. And also, I like dealing with the kids out here. The kids are great. Um, they really look up to the police officers that are out here, and, and hopefully we can shed a new light on their life to uh, go down the right road. What did I do? Well, you didn't slow down there. Oh, okay, I'm trying to get home. I, I, I work for the town for this museum. Please let me go on and go home. Do you have a driver's license and insurance yeah. with you? He's taking off on us. He's taking off on us. Zebra 212. Uh, 5300 Brentwood Stair. Traveling eastbound. He's going to turn on Woodhaven and go under the bridge. Fell into yield. George Young John turning under the bridge. Woodhaven coming up on Boca Raton. East on Boca Raton, black male driver. Pulled him over at a uh, traffic stop and asked him for his driver's license. He closed the door and took off on us. Coming up on uh, Country Club. Yeah, he's going to bail out here in one of these apartments. for a minute. Keep your head down, sir. Keep your head down. Why'd you keep going? Why'd you close the door on my hand and start driving off? Yes, you did. You know, we consider that assault on a police officer, too. No, Evading arrest motor vehicle, little bag you threw out at the intersection, oh, I, driving while intoxicated. Smell alcohol in your breath when I pulled you over. Because he ran like a fugitive, ma'am. All right, I'm gonna say this much. Go stand over there. You tell me to stand here. What do you want me to stand over here? I'd rather you stand by the stairs. Which window are you throwing out on? Stand up, stand up, spread your feet apart, spread your feet apart. 
Spread your feet apart. It was my mistake. Come back over here and have a seat. Come over here, sir. What's your name? Do you live in these apartments? Uh, it's all right. You live in these apartments? Yeah. Huh? Have it? Okay, we're going to have a seat in the car here, okay? What I want you to do is sit down. Okay. Sit down, okay? <laughs> well, well, let me go get some keys in a minute. I'll loosen them up, okay? Just have a seat for me, all right? All the way in, sir. We're just going to check the ground right here where he got out of the car. He didn't go anywhere further than where we're standing. We just want to make sure he didn't drop anything or throw anything down. Hey, for him to throw a gun down and a kid pick it up later or some dope or a razor or some needles and some kids pick it up. And we can't find it. We're going to take a look in the car. He's got a couple knives. Looks like that one's going to be considered an illegal knife. You know, for unlawfully carrying a weapon. It's just a piece of junk there. Still could definitely hurt somebody. Yeah, one's a kitchen knife and one's a little... Any illegal? Rusty. It was a good deal. He didn't want to stop. And then he, uh... Then he took off and we got him stopped and uh, it continued, kind of picked it up, you know, about 60 miles an hour through Residential Street and then uh, threw a bag out the window at the intersection, pulled in here, apparently he lives in a complex, his wife's here, and uh, thought he was going to get out and run. We were right on top of him, he saw us there, decided that running wasn't a good idea, so we took him into custody. So bad guy goes to jail. I'm not originally from Fort Worth. I'm from Oklahoma City, and I think the reason I like Fort Worth so much is that the cities are real similar. They're basically the same size. Uh, I've been with the Fort Worth Police Department for uh, starting my fifth year, so right at four years. And I, I like the North area because we have a real wide and diverse range of people and income levels, and uh, it allows me to, you know, to interact with all all types. We're going to stop this pickup truck. It's coming off a dead end street up here. It looks like it has a male occupant standing up in the back of the pickup, traveling at a high rate of speed. Baker 11 at TV. Victor John 5, 100 North, I'm sorry, 100 West Long. Copy 100 West Long, 10 Why don't you have a seat on the curb for me? Just sit down right there. See what to say. See what to See you today. Sit down over here. Thank you, yes. Thank you. You guys me. It's my truck. Oh, yeah? Come up here. Put your hands right there. Baker, level start me assist. Any close ones in the west mile? Baker. It's your truck. What are you doing riding in the truck? This is my truck. The girl picked out my truck and I threw them in my truck and the cantina over there. I don't there. need them cold. Who's this girl? Who's I don't know there? who's the girl. You don't know. Put him in your car. So first words out of her mouth is he tried to rape me. Go ahead and turn the car off. What happened? He stopped to give me a ride. And instead of stopping at Stop the, where? Up a little past Ranch Motel. Uh-huh. And instead of stopping at the motel that I stayed at the apartments, he kept going. He ran red lights and everything else. He was up a back street over there. What back street? I don't know. I know which back street if I sit, but I don't know which street. Was it all in a dead end? Okay, off of Columbus. Maybe. Okay, then what happened? 
And then I tried to get out of the truck, and he got out too, and he tackled me down to the ground. And I started screaming and stuff. He let go of me. And then this door was locked. He couldn't get in the truck, so I just jumped in and started, and he jumped on the back. I didn't know what else to do. That's fine. So he, he jumped on the ground and tackled you. When I got out of the truck to try to leave, he got out of the truck too. And he grabbed me. Okay. He's trying to get me down the ground and trying to pull my shirt off. Okay, did he get your shirt off? No. Hey, did he? Well, I started screaming and I think it scared him. Okay. All right, wait right here. Speak English? A uh, little bit, sir. What happened? Yes. What happened? Uh, what happened? I, I drinking in the main street. She she dancing over there, and I dancing with she, and she give me, and she tell me then get the my keys in my truck. How did she get all that grass and mud on her shirt and jeans? I don't know. I don't you know. don't know. No, I don't know. It's really if you not trust me, it's fine. But uh, I don't know. I don't have a grass and don't have a nothing. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Okay. He's riding in the back with his hands on top of the deal. But what happened is he took her back there in that back deal and she got scared, got out of the car, and he got out, tackled her to the ground, was going to sexually assault her, tried to get her shirt off. She got away from him, got back in the truck, jumped in. His door was locked, hers wasn't. She started the truck up, started to take off. He jumped in the back, and that's where I caught him. She's doing 15 to 35, so hmm. we'll see. Go ahead and place that away, put your hands behind your back. He took you against your will, first of all. Okay, he abducted you, basically. And he intended, or his intent was to have, or sexually abuse you. Okay? Do you feel like that's what, what he was going to do? All right, this other officer got all your information? Probably shouldn't take rides off North Main. You know, hope, hope you learned a lesson tonight about taking a ride from a stranger. You're free to go. The car's got to go to the pound. And, uh, you know, hope, hope you learned a lesson tonight about taking a ride from a stranger. Okay? Just leave him in there. We'll get him when the record comes. Do what now? It's billful. I've got part of it back here, too. All right. Well, we'll just take him, we're going to take him for aggravated kidnapping. We can prove that he, uh, we can prove that he abducted her. And we can prove, because Brett saw him driving away from the bar. So he's lying about his story there. We can prove that he, they were in a dark area because I saw him coming out of that area. And we can prove that his intent was to sexually abuse her. Take him for aggravated kidnapping. I think he fits all the elements. Well, I think I try to treat everyone out here fair and equal until I, you know, can at least find out what the true story is or what's, what's going on in their life. I don't prejudge anybody while I'm talking with them or, or uh, place them in, in custody. Uh, I, I try to be as fair as possible to everyone. And uh, a lot of times that's, you know, doesn't really suit most people. But, uh, you know, I think if, if we're fair to everyone, I, I think it makes our department look uh, that much better in the citizens' eyes overall. Baker 13 North. We're going to be stopping this car right here. It came out of a motel back here that's uh, real renowned for drugs in signal or turn coming out. Um, kind of looked like they were leaving it ready to get out on the street pretty quick. See what's going on. Baker 315, come on, come on. 10-4, this might be a signal 37. Can you copy accurate information? Baker 11, another TV. Baker 11, go ahead. I'll be at uh, 2400 Northeast 28. I'll be 2400 Northeast 28. Female, I think. Yes, sir. 
How you doing? Fine. Your driver's license on you? No, I didn't grab my purse. Okay, do you have an ID with you? No. you have anything? No, sir, I don't. Okay. Uh, it's my mother's car. Okay. Where do you live? Uh, I live on Fox. My mother. Fox? And Who do you know back there in that hotel? Uh, my husband has, or my ex-husband has my daughter this weekend, and he doesn't have a permanent residence, and last time he had her, I found them down here, so I was just checking to make sure they weren't down there. Okay. That's all I was doing on my way home. What's your date of birth? Uh, 10, 14, uh, sorry, uh, 72. How old are you? Pardon me? How old are you? Uh, 20. How old are you? 28. I'll be 28, 29. You sure about that? You lying to me? No. First of all, let's get something straight right now, okay? You don't have a driver's license. You don't have any, you're not insured to drive this car. I've already got reason to take you into jail. You're right. Okay, so if you're going to start lying to me and not telling me what's going on, then I'm just going to, I'm not even going to waste my time with you. I'll put you in jail under the name you gave me and cash bond you on your tickets. Okay, so you need to tell me what's going on. How old are you? I'm, I'll be 27 this year. Uh, so what's your date of birth? October. What day? The 15th. Okay, what 72. year? Okay, you told me 10, 14, 72 the first time. I'm sorry, I'm just, for some reason police just make me very nervous. Well, I don't know why, ma'am. I pulled you over on a simple traffic stop, okay? I know, I know. All right? Just... You didn't use your signal coming out back there, all right? Okay. Why don't you step out for me? I, I got a feeling you're not telling me everything I need to know. Come on out. You're being very evasive in your answers, okay? I'm sorry. Come on. I just don't want anything to happen. Step up there to the front of the car. What do you mean you don't want anything to happen? And you're gonna be how old? I'll be 29. You having medical problems? It's just cramps. You'll be 29? Yes. Okay, a second ago you told me you were going to be 27. Okay. Do you see where I'm having a problem yeah, I, here? I see it. Yes, you see where you're not making I'm any sorry. sense? Yes, I know. You don't know your own age. You don't know your stepmom. I know. You do, this is her car, supposedly. You don't have a driver's license. I mean... I know. You're right. Uh huh. Hello. This is Officer Pierce, Fort Worth Police. Hello. Who who borrowed whose car? That's what I'm trying. I've got this car stopped on a traffic stop. And what she look what she look like? Tell me. I want to know who that is. What she look like? Okay. What about it? Give me some more description. Who is it? Hang on a minute. If you don't be quiet, I'm going to put you down in my car because I'm I on the have, phone, all right? I have an ex that would say and do anything. Well, he just happened to call at the most inopportune time, didn't he? Because you've lied to me already about who you are. Your name is not McNair, okay? So quit lying because I'm going to put you in jail already. So stop your lying. What's your name? Right. What's your date of birth? 2159. The reason why I lied is because... You didn't have any reason to lie. You understand? I'm driving with a suspended license. Well, guess and I what? I don't want to go to jail. Well, you picked your destiny, not Please, me. Please, no. You're out here wasting my time, I'm okay? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I just had to make sure my husband didn't have my daughter, or ex husband, have my daughter in that slinky motel. Well, I'm sorry, too. No, please. Put your hands behind no. your back. Put your hands behind your no, back. No, I don't want to go to jail. Put your hands behind your back. Well, you shouldn't have lied. I'm sorry, please. No, and before, please. you know, we might decide this might be a stolen car by the time she gets here. No, it's not. If it's not, can I go home, please? No. Please. I don't want to go. Go ahead. Oh, can you? Is everything wait, wait. We made contact with the driver. We asked her what her name was and her date of birth. 
She gave me a date of birth of 10, 15 of 72. I asked her how old she was gonna be. She said, I'm gonna be 29. Pretty good discrepancy there. And uh, at that point in time, we're just waiting on the owner to get here to find out if this car's stolen or not. And if, uh, if it's stolen, we'll put her in for the theft. And if it's not, we're gonna put, put her in for failure to ID. Uh, basically, she doesn't have any way of identifying herself and I don't know who she is, so we can put her in jail on that. Every once in a while you get a thank you and you get a, you know, I really appreciate what you did for me, officer, and, and, and those things mean a lot. They really do. Um, they make you realize why you're out here and what you're doing is, is, uh, is not just for everybody else, it's also for you. It makes you feel that uh, you're doing a little bit of good out here. This officer's called out for backup. He's got a car stopped with three people in it. Thinks they're acting a little suspicious or something, so we're gonna come up here and help them out and see what's going on. Hey, what's wrong, sir? Well, we're trying to figure out whose car this is. It's not, I just came over here to fix this. Okay, it, sir. I understand. Just walk over there. That's all I can. Are you drinking tonight, Manuel? Excuse me? You been drinking tonight? No. I drank a beer and then I walked over here. Yeah, so it's awesome now. I drank a beer. You can't even have a weapon. Turn around. Turn around. Face me. Interlock your fingers behind your head. What's wrong, man? Just patting you down for weapons, man. Oh, okay, no problem. We do that to everybody we talk you to out here. Guns on your menu? No, sir. I don't. Nothing? No, sir. A lot of people like to carry weapons, oh, so we like I... to know if they have any. No, I... I'm a mechanic, man. Well, you could have a big old wrench, bro. Oh, no. Why don't you have a seat for me? Just have a seat for me. That'll work. Right here? No, right here on the curb. No, I just came over to fix the parts, sir. Okay, cool. Look, I'm all greasy, man. <laughs> well, you have to understand, it's a little strange. It's uh, going on midnight. And we've got this car parked out here, and nobody yeah. knows really whose it is. Yeah, the sister came over here because the car wouldn't start. Come on over here, brother. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Just a minute. Let me talk to her for a second. I'll talk to you in just a minute. No Go ahead and stand right here for me. Right Where my light's at? Yeah. Do you have anything in your pockets, Valerie? I got my wallet. My I friend. just gave some this. That's it. That's all I wanted. Oh. So you just met these people parked out here, and you thought you'd get a ride with them? Yeah. That's probably not very safe. I know, but I didn't want to walk down that way either, so. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks all mean. I wouldn't ride Who's with him. That? Come <laughs> on, man. Give me a break, man. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I'm a mechanic. He's bro. just a mechanic. Yes, sir. No, seriously, that's not very safe at all. I'm just trying to help yeah. out, you know. Yeah. We just had somebody kidnapped over at Corbinado Mall earlier today. OK? You need to be careful about who you walk around and get rides with. Looks like you in the picture. Is it okay if I have a cigarette up? No, wait a minute. Okay, thank you. We won't be very long. All right. They're just doing a job like I do every day. That's right. Ain't that right, man? Nobody comes and hassles you over at your mechanic shop. <laughs> no. Heck <laughs> no. I walked over here, man. I was just trying to help out. Where'd you walk from, bro? Uh, from my from my house. Over there in Carlisle, Gibson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just walked over they here. They called you or what? Yeah, well, I, I live next door to her. Oh, okay. And, you know, she told me, I told me, yeah, I'll come out here and, you know, see if I can do something, you know, try to help out her neighbor. Well, how come y'all aren't working on the car when this other officer pulled up? I, I was just getting, I was just Were you just going to have, like, a few beers and then work no, on it and no, have a couple no. more? Oh, no. <laughs> I just got out and I tried to start it and nothing happened, so I said, oh, I'll get out, lift up the hood, see if anything. The uh, little mouthy one. Right, already he's got two misdemeanors, and uh, the other one's got one in state for a Okay, which one do you want to do first? Oh, I would say the mouthy one. Say again? Two, 229. Okay. You want to stand by? Gotcha. Face the officer behind you. Hands behind your back. What did I do wrong? Did man? I say step up? I want to know what I did and wrong. Hands behind your back. I want to know what I did wrong. <laughs> hey, man. I want to know what I did wrong. Hey, man. Oh. You got a warrant. Hey, 
You're gonna break your arm if you don't get it. Hey, man, turn off! What's going on? I didn't even do nothing, man. Hey, man, I was cool to you guys. All you had to do is follow the instructions. So all you had to do is follow instructions, man. Hey, I was nice to you guys, man. All you had to do is follow instructions. Hey, man, you guys don't have a dude like that to me. Hey, don't pick me up like that, homeboy. Get up. Roll over. Roll over towards me. Hey, man, I was nice to you. Sit up. What? Sit up. Man, I was nice to you guys, man. All you do is follow instructions, man. When he asked you to turn around, hey, man. we told you you had a warrant. You didn't tell me. Sure did. Take me in. Yeah. Don't start, man. Hold on. Let me get in here, man. Let's Let's sit down. down. Well, they were just gonna go down on warrants, if anything, and now they're gonna end up going down and resisting arrest and obstructing an officer. But if that's the way they wanna do it, we can certainly go that way also. We have strange clientele, and that's what I like. Uh, uh, you're dealing with a different aspect of the world, and it's uh, interesting for me. Uh, growing up in middle-class America, uh, up in Green Bay, it's it's strange, so uh, it's always good to see things like that. Plus, you're always busy. You're always doing something, so, something different, something to make your day go by and make you laugh. So, uh, one of our subjects I know uh, is running up the street barefoot. So, we're gonna go out with him and see what his problem is, see why he's running or who he's chasing. See, uh, he's flagging me down anyway, and it is a he. Uh, this the, the open. And, uh, she took my purse from my, you know, She from took my your room. purse? What's she look like? She's white and uh, uh, people clocked her. And, uh, well, what's she look around. like? She's white. There's a lot of white people in this state. Well, yeah. She, this guy says, yeah. She's uh, wearing a colored jacket, pair of pants. <laughs> Yeah, she's got um, uh, pants and you guys. Relax, sir. And uh, she took my purse and. What and does she and look she, like? She's short. She's got uh, like a, you know, short cut red hair. And uh, she, they've been Go smoking ahead. crack, huh? They've been smoking crack. I reported them earlier because they kept knocking. It's reference to purse snatching. I'm just going to check the area. And, uh... Okay, can you give me a little more description? She's got red hair. It's she's a female, red hair, yeah. right? And very slender and everything. Okay. Well, what room are you staying at? Room 124. Go, then, go back to room 124, and, uh, hey, hold on. Go back to room 124, and I'm going to go see if I can find them, okay? Yeah. Hurry up. We'll go look. John, 322. He uh, he got his purse, sna purse snatched. Uh, I can't. Remember. I, th I thought it was Lacris. Lacris. That's right. it's Lacris. Just check the area. We'll go around. Okay. See if we can. Red hair. Possibly a black leather jacket on. Okay. Well, I know uh, this this gentleman from prior uh, outings with the police. Uh, uh, he is one of our uh, cross-dressing prostitutes out here, so he's advising his purse was stolen, so we'll do him the favor and and look around for him. Uh, but you associate with different different kinds of people, you're gonna deal, you're gonna end up with stuff like this. So, well, Officer Jacobson's coming, and we're gonna go. 
make contact with their subject, our uh, victim. It caught my attention, him running. You can see that, first of all, blonde, that looks like a man. <laughs> as dressed as a woman caught my attention anyway, but looking that he's barefoot, uh, kind of looked like he needed some help, so uh, can't be the most sanitary way to go about your business. I'm just watching in a second. How you doing, ladies? Hi. Hi. Can we talk to you? Sure. Find out what happened. Okay. Is this your room right here? Okay. What's going on? Oh, hey, you can call me here in a second. Uh, Tell us uh, what was in the person's stuff. We didn't find her, so what's going on? I call the office earlier, and I told him this guy keeps knocking on my window. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she knocked on my door, saying that there was a friend who want, wanna let me let him in. Mm -hmm. I said no, I have nothing to do with that. When I went, I went to close my door. Thinking, yeah. Well, this is the deal. You don't have any warrants. I don't. I'm okay. Not what did I just say? So don't interrupt me. You don't have any warrants. So this is the deal. And right. Okay. Can I finish? Sure. You don't have any warrants, so what we're going to do is we're going to accommodate you, and we're going to go search for your purse. We have a feeling we know who it might who it might be, okay? So we're going to go do that, and we're going to go try to find your purse. But in the meantime, you need to stay off the streets. If I see you on Central... I have not been on the streets. You're going to go to jail, okay? Huh? And what I suggest is you go ahead and go get a new needle exchange card. Because if we because if we catch you out there with the needles or any other type of drug paraphernalia, which we have in the past, you're going to go to jail. You understand? Get off Central. Okay. Well, we're going to go find your purse. Okay. Was there any money in it? Yeah. How much? I don't know, 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Yeah. Bye, Lacris. No, he's got like. Bye. Bracelet. We have a feeling we know where she's at, so. Well, let me share. Uh, we just got another call. Uh, it looks like a different unit may have located the purse, so we'll see if it has any of his walker. belongings into it. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. With she, a she's over there at the Deanta Hotel right now. What room number? Um, I'm not too sure. She Is she up. red hair? No, -uh. I don't know if it was. I couldn't tell. It was dark. Like chopped. But she was with, uh, yeah, it's chopped. Like Get his information, and then uh, I'll be back in two seconds. We're doing our good deeds. We're giving back her, his purse, and we're gonna go find out what the heck's going on with our victim. Does that look familiar? Is that your purse? Okay. Unfortunately, there's no money in it. There's your ID in there of some sort. Okay. All my cars are Okay. Well, there's your purse. We're going to go try to find her, okay? So, don't. Here's a hint, too. Lock your door. Uh, being in this work in this part of town now for three and a half, four years, it's you've seen a lot of these kids grow up. They've kind of matured. They've gone through that age where they've gone from little kids to, you know, young teenagers. And not all of them have like the, the opportunities that the rest of us have had growing up. And you look at them and you, you know, you try and hope, hope that you reach them, you try and talk to them, you try and, you know, give them a little hand up and let them know what's going on. We're on our way now to a, a disturbance. We got a couple neighbors fighting. They uh, call us in about maybe a possible fight going on out front. Let's see what we got. How you doing? 
Mobile. Did you call? Yes, I did. What can I do for you? Okay. My mom, Okay. they've been coming down here yelling, uh, seeing rude gestures down here, all Who? this. Who's they? Uh, the people in apartment A, they were there for a birthday party. Yeah, they're drinking and, and stuff. Yeah. What happened? I come, in, we were in our own house, they're banging on our door wanting to give my kids cake, birthday cake. My kids, I don't want them having too much sweets, so I said no for them to leave out of my yard. My mom, they wouldn't get the hand. They kept on sending people back here with it. My mom stepped out here. Are these usually friends of yours or anything? Me and Tammy were friends, and she got into an argument with my husband. OK. OK. And ever since last Saturday, no, this past Saturday, um, we've been fighting. OK. We've been leaving each other alone, not talking to each other. OK. Then she has a birthday party down there. They're drinking and all, and they start on us. Okay. All we did is ask them to move their car. How'd you get the cake all over you? Because I came out here to help they my mom. They got mad at us because we didn't, we would not take the cake for these, for her kids. Okay. So they started slinging cake, beer, empty and I beer wasn't cans, even hit and everything. By one okay. of the girls. Okay. And the girl's name is April. And I was April. going to. You guys are on again, off again, friends. It, April, it, you and April. No, I don't talk to April. I you used to though, right? No. I only Who was the one? To Tammy, the one that lives in apartment A. All these friends that came over for a birthday party, they all get down there drinking, doing okay. whatever they want to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm not naming the rest. That okay. I know. But they get down there doing that stuff, and I'm not going to be the one getting in trouble for this stuff. Okay. My cars is always We've been had our tires sliced, sliced and, and everything. everything. All this week. April and Tammy, I want to talk to. Yeah, because they're all mad because I won't let my kids have birthday cake. Okay. You know, it's nothing against your daughter. If we're all having a problem, a disagreement, I, it's best for all There's of us. There's one of the girls. Okay. No, no, that ain't one of them. That ain't one of them. Okay. I'm going to go up there and let them know they're not welcome. If they come over here, they're going to get in some big time trouble. Thank you. We're going to follow the cake trail back to the house that this is where the, the young lady was standing when they threw the cake at her all because that she wouldn't let her kids have cake this late at night. So we're gonna follow back to the party and talk with these folks up here. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Whose apartment? It's my sister's. Who's your sister? Tammy. That's who I need to speak with, Tammy. Tammy or April? Uh, Is April here too? April, yeah. April, they want I need to talk, talk to the two of you. April. I'm Tamara. And this is your apartment? Yeah. Okay, wrong. here's the deal. Who's my cousin, though? We okay. have had problems with them. Well, what's up with all the cake? They I followed the trail. Here. Okay. Had, no, this, this okay, well, talk to me. Oh, because I wanted, those kids were standing yeah, there, you know, all the kids. whining and stuff, just looking at it. I felt right. really bad. So Come I was like, Tammy, really can, we take, can we take, can we take, can we take these kids some cake? I said, I know you guys don't get along, but, you know, I really, you know, it, to me, I have two kids of my own. I have a two-year-old and three-year-old. Right. And if somebody went. No, let's get back to how the cake was thrown. I, okay, well, we were standing over there. They come out fighting with them. And, and I was trying to us. explain okay. to the mother, to Tina's mother, I was trying to explain to Tina's mother that, um, you know, th th this has nothing to do with the kids. Please take the cake. Everybody okay. will be happy if you just take the cake. Yeah, right. just, and she was like, no, 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 no. We don't want the we cake. I was like, please cake. just take like, the cake. Rude. Everybody will be happy. Just right. take the cake. For the you know, everybody okay. was getting mad because they wouldn't birthday. take the cake. And I was like, just take the cake and throw it in the trash. Do whatever. Just right. take yeah. the cake. Just Everybody will kids. be happy. Okay. So the only thing I could think of was I just threw the cake in her face. Throwing the cake is just as bad as hitting her. It's a battery as well. Just so you know that. Yeah, we understand. So, no, well, I didn't. Know, I don't understand. Well, I'm letting you know that. Okay, yeah, that's the same that. as punching so, her in the face. So all I did was she was in my face. I mean, I didn't want to punch her. I didn't want to push her. So I just said, "Blam!" and got it in her face. And I went. And then her mom tried to sock me, and I her went running was running because I don't us. want to get to no fight. I'm Keep sorry. the cake to yourself. It was a nice gesture. It, it really was. was. But you can't force to. people. So you can't force cake. people to. I'm too good for them. I'm hoping she doesn't press charges on well, me. I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay. It's not cool. It's not cool. <laughs> all the time. Okay, okay. So well, she that's... presses charges against my cousin and she's a wuss because her husband beat her up It was all just cake. What are you going to do? What it was know? just cake. Yeah, I know, I, but it it's... It could have been my fist, but it was State just State law, cake. it's the same she's thing, just so you know that. That's a okay. She's lucky it wasn't my fist. Let's keep the door shut tonight, if we could. We could hear you partying as we walked up. Hey, uh, when the family gets together and when it's somebody's birthday, yep, hey, you know how it goes. I mean, this girl's two years old. And that's what's going to put you in jail. That's what's going to get you put in jail, just well, so you know that. I was just thinking of it the kids. It was a good cake. No, obviously, I love kids. you know, you, you weren't. I hate them, but I love their kids. I love yeah. my kids. I, I love her kids. I love everybody's Just let kids. me tell you what's going to happen. If I have to come out here again because you're causing fights, I'll give you a trespass order, and you'll never be allowed to visit your I'm cousin again. I'm just letting fight. you know. Um, 
That's why I didn't well, hit her. I'm letting That's you, why well, I you did hit her. her. You did hit her under state law. You did hit her. That's well, a battery. Well, she hits everybody else, too. They, I, don't, they, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I'm only here for the people. cake issue. You know, they, they I don't don't talk to me about her and her husband. In, in this yard, they no, beat okay. the crap out of people. They okay. kidnap people in their house. They can okay. beat the crap out of people. You know, we're talking. We're here talking oranges and apples right now. I'm here for this incident, and you're telling me about something else. No, you're lucky, because you would have went to jail. And then I would have had to call social social services again. That's not cool. That's not cool. Go inside. Enjoy partying with your family. No Have a good night. Keep it down. <laughs> the two girls back there wanted the little kids to uh, to have some cake. The folks over here did not want their kids to have cake. The uh, the folks from the other apartment, the girls couldn't understand that the mother didn't want her kids to have cake and got upset. They found it to be rude, and they wound up throwing a cake in mom's face. These two friends of 10 years that aren't friends anymore have just proved that you can't have your cake and eat it too. I've been a police officer in Albuquerque since 1983. Uh, became a supervisor in uh, 1993. So I'm going on my sixth year as a sergeant, currently a patrol sergeant here in the southeast. Don't know if you have anybody else available. We're fixing to have another one for you. He's making a buy right now. It's westbound at about Florida now, guys. This truck's left a uh, alleged drug house. We're crossing Florida right now. And uh, it's kind of jetting through the neighborhood. They were engaged in some kind of conversation. The officers overheard said something about they're taking what they got to another location. Their presumption is at this point that what they got uh, was some narcotics. George, which of the passengers was lighting up in the parking lot? Okay, we have a guy upstairs in front of us smoking crash Why don't you guys go grab him and we'll have another unit come that way. Was it the uh, female passenger? These guys are apparently are smoking crack right in front of the officers. They didn't know the officers were hiding there in the dark. Yeah. Based on his observation, uh -huh. is that enough PC to get in the car? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's, he watched them smoke crack right in front of him. Okay, well, we can yank them all. So out. they're yeah. they're done. Okay. Well, let's get out and dig through their stuff. Robert, take your hands out of your pockets. What is that? That's my ID badge where I work. I know. I'm a uh, uh, tech support rep. Tech support rep, which means you go around telling other people what cool stuff you guys have in the market. Doing software and what at? Selling it? Walk with me, walk with me over here. Okay, we're gonna have a little talk here. Okay. Person that got out of your truck and went in the dope house was seen smoking crack in front of a cop. I won't say which of those people is a cop. Okay. They purchased crack, they came outside, they got in your vehicle with it. Which means right now, based on pretty much the law, it's 100%. The women, the officers, and your cooperation, about 50-50 if you even have this truck, if you even own this truck after tonight, OK? okay. Needless to say, that would be in the wind as well. Needless to say, by the looks of that individual, some other things here you may or may or not want your wife to be aware of. Right. Dope, on who, where? I saw... Uh, uh, I haven't seen, mm -hmm. never seen what I saw, but I saw the lady, whatever, in the middle, mm -hmm. smoking something. Did that individual have a crack pipe? Uh, yes. I smoked it in your truck? Yes. What's your last name? You two together? No, sir. They're giving me a ride. Now, they were just, and he was just giving you a ride. What's your name? Irene. Yes. Irene, what's your name? Irene. Here's my point. Don't smoke crack in front of cops. Hmm? Don't smoke crack in front of cops. I haven't been. You don't know who's a cop and who's not, obviously. I'm telling you, you just did a little while ago. Cigarette. I'm smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Come here. Sure. Stand right there. Uh -huh. Lean your butt up against the truck. What'd you stuff down by the seat? A rock or your uh -uh. pipe? What'd you stuff down by the seat? You smoke I don't even rock have with? a pipe. Where, what were I you smoking the rock with in your car? A cigarette. 
There's one thing you can do right now. Okay. And let me tell you right now, mm -hmm. before I tell you what to do. Sure. If you do it correctly yes, and follow sir. my directions, yes, that'll sir. be fine. Yes, sir. If you do it wrong, yes, you can sir. only imagine what will befall and you. And I'll tell you the truth. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to open your mouth and give me the rock. Give it up. I don't have it. Spit it out. It's in her mouth. I don't have it. It's in her mouth, Ken. I don't have Spit it out. Spit it out. Spit. I don't have nothing, Spit. I don't have nothing, Spit. I don't have nothing, look. You got it swallowed? You got it. I don't have nothing. Get her down. Get her down. Get her down. Spit. You are now under arrest for possession of cocaine and tampering with evidence. And you will remain in custody until it comes out. I saw it on the, under your tongue when you started no, swallowing it. Nothing like that. I have gum. Hush. You don't swallow gum to hide it from the police. I didn't swallow nothing, sir. I'm telling the truth. Later, I'm telling you, sir. It's a felony to tamper with evidence. I'm telling you the truth. What you just did is a felony. No, I'm telling you the truth. No, it is, really. I didn't have nothing on me. Well, now it's in you. I didn't have nothing on me. I had a tic tac in my mouth. Little tic tac thingy. Well, what is it? Tic tac oh, or gum? Make up your mind. Gu a gum thingy. Keep your eyes straight. Like a mint breath thingy. I don't. Why, why, why would I have crack in my mouth? Look at my eyes. I'm sober as can be. I thought she had a speech impediment. And then she's doing her thing. I saw her do that with her mouth. So. Yeah. And when it read, I said, you know, yeah, here's what we're going to do. I actually rolled it back up on top of her tongue to start swallowing it. Yeah. That's when I grabbed him. I um, didn't have the, I'm telling you. Hush. OK. Every time you flap those lips, you either tell a lie or swallow dope. So stop flapping them. Stand up. Yes, sir. Robert, everybody else been to Run 29? 10-4. Uh, Carl's clear. It's about those time. Robert's clear. Give me Robert. I want to talk to him. Had a rock in his mouth. OK. You don't belong out here. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get my life together, and this was just a, a bad nine pack. No, no, I'm just telling you. OK? Next time I see you, I'm not going to adopt you and befriend you like I did tonight. I understand. So consider that motivation not to be out here again. Okay? Plenty. I understand. Your life is teetering on the fence. You do not want to end up like these people. Go home. Um, when she was sitting on the curb, I could see that uh, she was holding something under her tongue. And she was curling the tip of her tongue down to keep it in place. And uh, basically, all you can do is apply some kind of some kind of force to their abdomen, more or less like a Heimlich maneuver, to get them to cough it up. And it didn't work. And uh, she's definitely going down for tampering with evidence and all the other things. So it's a pretty good lick, all in all. Working here in the southeast okay. is a real good place for uh, officers who like to stay pretty busy. Those officers who don't like to be real busy or deal with this type of, uh, these type of calls that we get down here, uh, they usually go to other area commands and uh, where the pace is much different than here in the southeast. Okay, we're en route to a, uh, an abandoned apartment. Neighbors have called in, said that there's unknown subjects inside possibly selling uh, illegal narcotics. Wherever there's narcotics, there's usually weapons, usually firearms around here. So it, uh, don't know whether it's going to be, you know, gang-related type deal or just some small-time freelancers trying to make some extra money the illegal way. Uh, what's going to happen is we'll park the west side of this apartment complex and leave our vehicles there, and then we'll walk in on them. And we're just going to go ahead and hop out in here. Henry 335 Adam, both units 5-6. Let's uh, see if we can walk in and surprise them. 
Got one. There's the other. You guys live here? I'm just waiting for my friend, sir. Do you live here? No, sir. I live in the next pocket. Hands out of your pockets. Your lace your fingers, place them on top of your head. Yes, sir. I'm just waiting for my friend. He went into the apartment. Which apartment? In the back apartment, sir. Keep your hands in the lace. Yes, sir. Back of your head. Where's your gun? I don't have a gun, sir. What are you doing with the holster on? I don't have a, I don't have a weapon, sir. What are you doing with the holster on? I don't have a weapon, sir. What are you doing with the holster? It's my holster, sir. What are you doing wearing the holster? Sir, I was minding my own business. I live next door, sir. I'm just Spread your legs nice and wide. Party, wider, sir. wider. I was doing nothing wrong, sir. Nothing wrong whatsoever. You're trespassing. I was doing nothing wrong. You could knock on the, the door right there, sir, and ask my friend if I was waiting for him, and he will tell you, sir. I was waiting for him. I live next door with my sister. OK, we I want you to step back wrong. over here. Yes, sir. I want you to sit on the ground. Yes, sir. Sit on the ground. I was doing nothing Cross wrong, your sir. legs. Cross your legs. Yes, sir. Stay right there. Yes, sir. I was doing nothing wrong, sir. Could you do me a favor, buddy? Can you have a seat next to your friend right here for me, please? So we can keep you all together. I'll walk yes, back and forth. We were doing nothing wrong, sir. We even knew you guys were here, sir. OK, that's cool to sit over there. Bust me around, man. We were doing nothing wrong, sir. Why are you wearing a holster? Sir, I have my firearm at home, sir. I don't carry it out on me because I know. What kind of gun do you have? I have a 22, sir. 22. Yes, sir. And is it's a pistol, right? Yes, Revolver. Sir. It's the one that fits that holster. Okay. I put it away, sir, because you I put didn't it away. want anybody finding it, sir. Okay. So I wasn't trying to do Thanks. Wrong, sir. You're the man, George. Okay. <laughs> yep, I got it. Okay. I was going home, sir. I was going home. I live next door, sir. I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. I was going home next door, sir. I live next door. I was not trying to break the law. I was not give, doing give anything a, wrong. Can you just keep an eye on that area and everything like that? Yeah, just hang out. I was not doing anything wrong, sir. Okay, Charlie. Yes, sir. We're going to go to your apartment, and yes, you're going to show me your pistol, right? That is my pistol, sir, right what, there. Where? The, that one, sir. Which, which one, Charlie? Come, why don't you stand on up? Yes, sir. And let's sir. come on over here. Yes, sir. Oh. Hey, just hang on a second. Okay, is is that your gun right there, Charlie? Is this my pistol, sir? Yeah, is that your pistol? It's. Uh, I got the weapon, sir. I put the weapon there, sir. Charlie, is that I your gun? The, I bought the weapon earlier, Charlie, sir. Charlie, is that your gun? Is that your gun, Charlie? It's it's easy. It's a yes or no answer. Is that what your gun? What do you gun? mean, is that my gun, sir? Is that your firearm? I just told you, sir, that I put the firearm there, sir. I put the firearm down there. So that is yours? I put it there, sir. You did put it I there? I put the firearm there, but, sir. But yes, is I it yours? It did you borrow it from somebody? Yes, I borrowed it from somebody, you sir. You you bought it. That's what you just said. I, I borrowed it from my sister's boyfriend, sir. That is the honest to God truth. Yes, I did. You but I, it. I borrowed it, sir. I you borrowed said bought. it. And what really concerns me, Charlie, is after I explained to you my concern for all these little children around here. I was just trying not to cause any conflict, sir. I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. Charlie, I'm a good person, Charlie, sir. how would you feel about yourself if one of these little kids I around here I would feel awful, sir. I didn't, I didn't, it was on me, somebody. it was on me, sir. And when you guys were coming, I placed the weapon right there, sir. I was not trying to cause any conflict whatsoever, sir. No conflict whatsoever. Why don't you come over here and just yes, sir. take a seat? Yes, sir. I wasn't seat. trying to break the go, law go, or anything. Go ahead and take a seat right there. And I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. I live next door. I was minding my own business. Just, just relax. Can you do me a favor? Pat him down. Yeah. We're still in the middle of investigating all this, so what's going to happen is um, we're going to take him in, probably criminal trespass, and uh, we're going to take a look at the statutes and see what he can do. I, he admitted that he was carrying a concealed weapon, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so George and I will sit down and discuss what we're going to do as far as uh, booking him. But he's, he's definitely going tonight because we, I gave him every opportunity to basically tell me. I explained my main concern was the safety of the children, not so much taking him to jail. And uh, George looked around a little bit more, and sure enough, look what we find. So guns and dope, they go hand in hand. OK, thanks, George. Appreciate it. You bet. We have a lot of shootings out in this area, stabbings, a lot of drug dealing. He said officers had been out almost on a daily basis in this neighborhood. So there's always something going on around here. Uh, the more we hit it, the more officers we have available to target these areas, the bigger dent we can put in crime. So we'll just keep on trying, keep on plugging at it. The most rewarding part of the job is when you get to catch someone who just uh, victimized someone, just stole something from them, or catch someone with a bunch of narcotics. 
and you finally get to take someone to jail, someone that you've caught. You get to know that they're gonna spend uh, at least a night in jail. All right, right now we're en route to a convenience store, gas station. It sounds like there's three juveniles trying to pass off some counterfeit money and purchase items. Let's see if we can catch them right now. Hey, come here. 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 What are you three doing? Put your hands on the wall. Don't back talk me. What are you guys doing? Why are you guys crying? I found $20 on the bus. On the floor. Did you? Put your hands up there. That was a bad money, dude. What's going on? I swear I'll see you do it. Counterfeit, huh? Counterfeit. This isn't even a good counterfeit. Where'd you guys get this? I found it on the floor. It's it's I found it on the floor. I put down my life, man. <laughs> All right. Where do you guys live? I'm going to kill myself, man. No, I don't think you're going to go doing that, all right? Man, what's going to happen to us? Who found the $20 bill? I found it on the floor. Where? Hmm? Over on the street. On the street? The lady found it at the schoolhouse. Schoolhouse? He's lying again. Did you know it was a fake bill? No. How come everyone started crying when I got here then? Because he told us, and I asked him, how could he tell? We can't tell. We don't know what it is. Mm. Okay. Stay right here, okay? Stay right here. Come here. Who found the $20 bill? You better tell me the truth, okay? I don't care what the truth is. Tell me what the truth is. He found it. Okay. He said, I found the $20 bill. Let's go get some to the gas man. Now it's just open. Did you I guys know it. that it was a fake no, one? No, I don't know what fake in the... No, you didn't know? No. So Why did you get so upset when I pulled up because here? Because he told me to go to the and everything. Who told you that? That guy in there. Oh, before we got here, he told yes. you that? He said we're going to go to jail and everything for that. <laughs> we didn't even know, man. Were you with him when he found it? No. No? He just came up to us. He said, let's go, what you call it? OK. Do you know who, did you know who that was in that Jeep? Are your parents That's my here? mom. Is your mom? There was a camera. Come here, mom. That's OK. I don't need your purse. What's going on? Junior just told me. I'll fill you in, OK? Okay. What it is is these three came up here, okay? We did not know, man. They have a... You weren't even supposed to somewhere. be over here. You were supposed to be over there at Chris's house. Excuse me. Well, anyway, they have a counterfeit $20 bill. We did not know, Mom. We did not know. You man. need to listen to them. You need to be quiet, right? <laughs> I don't know whether they knew it was counterfeit or not, but they came up here with a counterfeit $20 bill tried to buy some things. The shop owner recognized his counterfeit right away uh -huh. and called us over here. That's what's going on. I didn't know, Mom, I promise. What's your address, ma'am? Like four, four. See, he gave okay. me one. What's his birthday? Money. 86. OK, you can go ahead and take him home, all right? OK, yeah. All I gave him was a dollar, and he wasn't even supposed to be. He was yeah, supposed to be waiting for the ice cream man. So. Well, and then so we came you know, with you, okay? Mom. Well, then that means you're not hanging around with them anymore. No, it's like this. Go ahead and take them off. Let's go. Excuse me. Ma'am, you his mother? Yeah. Hi, can I talk to you over here? Uh -huh. We got called up here because he, along with his friends, were trying to use a counterfeit $20 bill to buy money or buy whatever they were trying to buy. <laughs> He showed me that today. He said that he found it, and I told me I told him that wasn't good. Oh, really? You told him that, huh? Where yeah. did he tell you he found it at? Uh, he said with his stepmother the weekend. He said he found it somewhere over there. All right. <laughs> well, he's lying to me right now. He tells me he just found it on the street over there. No, he found it over the weekend. That's a federal I felony. I thought it was like playing money or something. Right, but the fact that he knew that and the fact that he tried to use it mm -hmm. is really bad, really bad. Yes. Gonna be for a long time. Okay, do you understand? Fed, yeah. Federal felony, really bad. 
What I want you to do is take care of them as best you know how, okay? Turn around. Look at me. Thought you told me you just found it. I found it. Mom here's telling me that you knew it was fake. She told she told you it was fake. I didn't believe her. You didn't believe her? I didn't think there was any counterfeit or whatever that is. I told you to be honest with me, no matter what the truth was. And I told you to tell me, right? I told you not to do that because they would call the cops on you. This is a federal offense. It's bad news. So you're going to have a bad record for the rest of your life? Okay, there's going to be a police report done on this, and I'm forwarding it to the United States Secret Service. You know who they are? The federal government, law enforcement, okay? I'm not going to book you tonight because your mom's here. I'm going to release you into her custody, okay? And you're going to go home. All right, you can go ahead and take him. Okay. Do what you will. You're in big trouble. Uh, we pulled in here. All three of them were standing against the, the fence. They turned around when I pulled in. Their eyes opened about this big, and uh, tears immediately began shooting out all three of their eyes. So they, they, they knew they were in the wrong. They knew what they were doing. And found out the reason they knew what they were doing is one of the moms told the kid that that's fake. You better not try and use that anywhere. This will happen yesterday, so they decided to do it anyway. He was pretty scary. He thought he was going to the home. Oh, well. The parents got him now.